हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture let us understand first generation of mobile communication system. In wireless telecommunication system we have five generations from first generation until fifth generation. Here let us understand first generation of wireless telecommunication system. Here first generation is generally known as 1G. Here the first generation has started to evolve in the year 1979. So the first generation started to evolve in the year 1979 the first generation wireless telecommunication system included the concept of cell phones so the first generation wireless telecommunication system included the concept of cell phone here it included mobile radio telephones so mobile radio telephones were used in first generation of wireless telecommunication system here it included the following technologies so to establish the connectivity between two parties or two person mobile telephone systems were developed which is generally known as mts so mobile telephone system technology is used to establish the connectivity between two parties then there was an improvement in mobile telephone systems and a technology which is known as advanced mobile telephone system was developed which is amts then improvement were made in amts and improved mobile telephone service was developed so which is imts then push to talk was developed so these are the different technologies in first generation so in first generation advanced mobile telephone system which is amts is very much important technology so this is very much important technology in first generation wireless telecommunication system so the first generation used analog radio signals for communication so communication between two person or two parties the signal was analog radio signals it supported only voice communication the first generation supported only voice communication which means there was no data communication in first generation so since the first generation used audio signal we know audio signals ranges from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so if we take 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz these frequencies are known as low frequencies so these frequencies are low frequencies that's why audio signal before transmission was modulated using a carrier signal so this carrier signal is of high frequency so this carrier signal is about 150 megahertz and greater so first generation used voice communication or audio signals for communication so these audio signals are low frequencies that's why audio signals were modulated using carrier signals of high frequency so this was the process that was used in first generation for communication so this modulation was done using a technique which is known as frequency division multiple access so this already we have discussed in our previous video in this technique the frequency spectrum is divided into different bands and these bands were allocated to the user for communication at the same time so this is the technique that will be used in first generation there are few limitations in first generation like it is low capacity and it had unreliable handoff we know handoff is the technique that is used when the user is moving from one cell to another cell and the call is transferred from one cell to another cell so here hard handoff was possible soft handoff was not possible and it also had poor voice links which means the voice was not clear during communication it has no security for voice calls which means third party can listen whatever communication was happening between two person one of the major limitation is there is no data communication in first generation so data communication was not possible in first generation of wireless telecommunication system now let us understand advanced mobile phone system which is amps technology that is used in first generation cellular communication system advanced mobile phone system was first used in north america 
and this technology used 800 megahertz ism band if we say ism it indicates industrial scientific and medical purpose so that's why it is known as 800 megahertz ism band here the communication from base station to mobile station is known as forward communication it used the frequency range from 869 to 894 megahertz so forward communication is known as downlink so downlink which means communication from base station to mobile station so downlink was 25 megahertz so if you take difference between these two frequency band you will get 25 megahertz so that's why we can say downlink which is nothing but forward communication from base station to mobile station is of 25 megahertz so communication from mobile station to base station is known as reverse communication here reverse communication is having the frequency range from 824 to 849 megahertz so communication from mobile station to base station it is known as reverse communication which is uplink so uplink is nothing but the communication from mobile station to base station the uplink is of 25 megahertz 25 megahertz again if we take the difference between these two frequency band you will get 25 megahertz so that's why we can say uplink as well as downlink is of 25 megahertz the channel spacing is 30 kilohertz so the spacing between each channels is 30 kilohertz and the total number of channels that are used is 832 so how we will get this value so total number of channels will be decided based on channel spacing as well as the uplink and downlink frequencies that are used here so which means if we divide 25 megahertz by 30 kilohertz you will get approximately 832 so that's why we can say we can use 832 channels in this technology so total number of 832 channels are shared by two service providers so two service provider in each location area will share 832 channels so each service provider will have 416 channels so 416 two times will get 832 so out of 416 channels 12 channels are used for control channels and 395 channels are used for voice communication so they are used for voice channel so this figure shows the frequency bands that are used in AMPS technology so here as you can see the communication from base station to mobile station is known as forward communication and the communication from mobile station to base station is known as reverse communication and here for forward communication it uses the frequency range from 869 to 894 megahertz and for reverse communication it uses the frequency range from 824 to 849 megahertz so here uplink as well as downlink will be of 25 megahertz so channel spacing as you can see here it is of 30 kilohertz in amps technology fdm technique is used as access control so here as you can see so for control operation 10 kbps is used and for voice communication 3 kilohertz is used so the bandwidth of 3 kilohertz is used for voice communication so that's why as you can see here it is mentioned as 3 kilohertz for control operation it is 10 kbps so how we will get 3 kilohertz analog voice communication is having the frequency range from 300 to 3300 hertz so if we take the difference between these two we will get a difference of 3 kilohertz so that's why this 3 kilohertz is used as bandwidth in analog voice communication and here it uses frequency modulation technique for modulation of analog voice signals then it is given to fdma so fdma used 25 megahertz band so this is for both uplink as well as downlink so we know here so for uplink and downlink we use 25 megahertz so from here the signal is given to the base station so the signal from fdma is given to the base station there are few limitations in first generation cellular communication system like it is having poor voice quality so voice quality is very poor it is having poor battery life 
we need to use large phones for communication phone size was large and there is no security for the voice communication and also it has limited capacity this is about first generation cellular communication system hope you have understood the topic thank you